Hello investors, this is Daniel Lowe reporting. A lot of people ask me this question, Daniel, what happened to the stock market? Will there be a bear market? There are a lot of stocks that have crashed over the last few months. Index like S&P 500 index, the leading index of America, has dropped 15%. In January, it was still lying at 4,008 and it has dropped to 4,100 points. Nasdaq Composite that represent tech stocks, it has dropped 20% from last November at 16,700 to today 13,000. A lot of tech stocks, a lot of good tech stocks, sexy tech stock has also dropped. PayPal, one leading e-commerce payment merchant, has dropped 70% from 300 to today less than $100. C-Limited, a representation of Shopee, it has dropped 370 to today less than $100, 75% drop in a span of a few months. Robinhood, one so-called fintech disruptor company, it has dropped from IPO first week price of $85 to today $9, 19% crash. So you may wonder, what are the reasons for the drop in so many stocks in America? Ever since last June, people are talking about Omicron virus happening again and there might be semi-lockdown. If someone remember, we are in fear that it's going to affect the economy. But let me ask you this question, why on earth aren't we talking about Omicron again in the last few months? Because people forgotten about it. The media never care about this Omicron news anymore. So does Wall Street. Following which, two months later, there's what we call the tapering fear. If you remember, Federal Reserve was talking about stopping printing of money. Where is this fear today? It was gone. In November, near to Christmas season, we talk about supply chain fear. I still remember people were so afraid that there is not enough semiconductor chips going around. The chip prices are going crazy. It affected the stock market. This is what we call the supply chain fear. Do anyone talk about the supply chain problem ever again? No. It's easily forgotten. Same with the high yield bond tech fear. If you remember, there are a lot of tech stocks that drop when bond yield rises above 1.7%. And today you're talking about bond yield near to 2%. Where is the fear? No more. Follow which? This first half of the year, in January, we talk about inflation fear, we talk about interest rate hike fear. And the most recent fear we are talking about in the last two weeks is the Russia-Ukraine war fear. So as you can see, almost every one to two months, the fear jumps from one to another. To me, this is not the real reason for the drop. This is just an excuse that Wall Street painted out to shut the market down. So what is the real reason for the drop? The real reason for this drop across the last six months is because the stock market has ran too much. From early 2020 until 2021, a lot of stocks has quadrupled, has doubled up its value. Some stock like Tesla has gone up 10 to 20 times its value. And that's the real reason there was a drop last year because it ran up too much. So you may ask, your next concern is, since this is not a bear market, it's just a market correction. Where might be the bottom? So today, let me share with you my opinion. The bottom always happens when the index has dropped 15 to 20% from its peak. Let me show you an example of what happened in 2010. This is 2009, the Lehman Brother crash. Follow which, from 600 points, S&P 500 rises to 1,200 points. In a short span of one year, it ran up too much. What happened? Following which, there is a 15 to 20% correction in three months' time in 2010. Then following which, it ran too, up, ran too much again. In 2011, similarly, there is a 15 to 20% correction in the third year of bull market. So this is what I mean. In the stock market, the moment you rent too much, they will be bound to have a correction in the magnitude of 15 to 20. And what's the good news? The good news is S&P 500 index has already fallen 15% ever since the start of the year. NASDAQ has dropped 20%. And I do feel now is the right time and a good time to slowly accumulate all these fallen US tech stocks that are good in fundamentals. So if you want to know what are the stocks to look out for in the second half of this year, I do recommend you to come to our Stock Investing Masterclass. 
whereby I'm going to share with you some of the good stocks to look out for after this market crash. And number two, the great 5G tech stock boom that will happen in the second half of this year. And how do you identify a bottom of any market correction building your passive income portfolio? If you want to know all this, I really welcome you to our free stock investing masterclass. Do sign up anywhere in the link below amid this page. See you soon. Bye-bye.